So I'm um, outside Minanes. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Murray Mint. How the devil are you? It's lovely to see you back. Um, ooh. Oh, I thought it was steaming up a bit there. What's been happening? Hope everyone's having a good week. Um, thanks everyone who's already liked and subscribed. Um, could, could you do me a favour? I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere here. There's a little bell thing and you have to press it and it means that you get notifications which is amazing because you'll get a notification when a new video drops from me. What more could you want really? Possibly a notification telling you when I don't post. This week's video is something I've wanted to do for such a long long time. girl who lives quite near to where I live. I'm good friends with her mum. Um, I haven't seen her for such a long time and then I saw some of her work. Basically she does makeup but with um, like special effects makeup. I saw these pictures and I was like oh my god that is amazing. So the girl is called Rhiannon and um, she's from South Shields and she's got um, Instagram, she's got Facebook. So I'm going to link all of Rhiannon's social media in the description below. If you want anything done before Halloween and stuff, you have to get in quick. Sit back, relax. You probably won't relax, um, but enjoy the video and please leave a comment and tell us how amazing Rhiannon is. Um, and we'll see you soon. I've teamed up with the amazing, talented uh, Rhiannon, 16 year old from South Shields, who does special effects makeup. So, I'm going to let her do whatever she wants to do on my face. Um, I know we're a bit early, it's not actually Halloween for a while, but Rhiannon will get booked up, so if you do want to book her, um, I'll leave all her details below, um, and just contact the makeup page. Right, Pet, what we're doing first? I'm literally taking toilet roll. It sounds awful. Yeah. And I'm going to make it look like your face is peeling up. <gasps> Love it. But this, this stinks. So I am warning you. It's forewarning. <laughs> so how did you, like, start getting into this sort of thing? It was, like, two years ago on Halloween. And I did this sort of makeup where it was, like, peeling up. Yeah. But I had a skull underneath. I did it for a Halloween party literally in the house. And everyone was like, oh, next year we need to take bookings. Like, I should take bookings. Yeah. And um, I did it in 2018. I took some bookings, literally going, like, door-to-door, -door, mobile people's houses. Then last year, someone messaged us to do, like, a big event. And that was where, it, like, it kicked off last Halloween. Oh, my God. It's so, so that's two years, and you, you've done, like, literally some unreal, like, looks in two years. Like... <laughs> Amazing. Well, I look back on the ones that I did that first Halloween when I worked and I'm like, how did people pay to let us do that to the face? It was awful. No, like, what's this on the on my heat? This is toilet roll. Right. And, well, like, tissue. Yeah. And liquid latex. Do you want me to push my hair back? If you wouldn't mind. And I just put some latex down and then I'm putting the toilet roll on top and then I'm putting the latex on top of that again so you just layer it. Right. Then it'll dry down solid and then we'll be able to peel it up. What's in it? I'll watch your eyeballs because I don't want to get any of this in them. <laughs> but it'll get rid of your monogram. <laughs> get in. Get it on. So I haven't seen Rhiannon for a long time but <laughs> Last time I saw you, you were probably oh, about eight. And so you had just gotten your puppy. So, well, that, like, I remember because you were on the floor <laughs> in the house playing with the puppy. I remember that you might not, but um, <laughs> that puppy is now 11. <laughs> so that's a long time ago. So, obviously I'm a hairdresser. Well, I do a bit of hair now, but I love to see people being creative. So when I saw that you could do stuff like this, I was so impressed. It's so cool. 
I just fell in a bit. I didn't plan on like starting to do like a little side hustle or no, anything, but... but you just know it. Once you start like learning new things and it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I would keep your eyes closed because oh. this does make them water. Right. Keep my eyes closed, guys. <laughs> for like five minutes while I'm putting it. As soon as it dries down it doesn't smell but Oh it has got a smell hasn't it? Yes. Oh my god. dream job which yeah. would be this but then I don't know what it's gonna be yet but I am starting to think of actual jobs that I could do to make a backup yeah well the makeup's more of the backup I want to stay in education do you get good qualifications and then I can fall back on them whereas if I went it straight into makeup I've got nothing to fall back on if it all went wrong well not if it all went wrong See, if it just didn't very, take off you're very uh sensible life. That, that's very cool. I wouldn't say cool, it's the more boring option but uh, I you, would rather you you'll be the one laughing later on in life <laughs> when you absolutely made If the opportunity came I would love to do this but I don't want to throw myself fully into this. No. Cause on the off chance that I went wrong. I mean the good thing about obviously you is you're obviously like talented because to do this for just a short space of time and be so good at it like even people who are good at makeup aren't necessarily good at this so you're obviously you know going to be really good so just see what happens i suppose that's yeah. probably the best thing to do and didn't you um do well in a competition quite recently um yeah, there was a programme called Glow Up on the TV. I watched it. Well, Val Garland, the head judge, every week um, on Instagram, she launched like a little fun competition where you post, she would set a theme and then yeah. you would create a makeup that sort of fit that theme. And um, I did, it was like the futuristic theme and I painted myself like a robot. Get it. And I had it where it was like my face was Peeling up. How long did that take? <laughs> a good, like three and a half hours. Wow. I was up and uh, I had to go in the shower at like one o'clock in the morning. I do them at ridiculous times. Do you get inspired at, like late at night? Yeah, it's, really. I do as well, actually. <laughs> um, but she obviously saw something in you. Yeah, because then she picked me as the winner of like the weekly Instagram competition. And then I got sent a signed copy of her book and a ton of L'Oreal makeup. Wow. It, she's blonde, isn't she? Yeah, she yeah. is. So you know that glow program, who is your favourite? Um, me and mum were rooting for Tiffany, the red hair girl, and Lee. Yeah. And Lee actually liked the photo that I posted, the robot wow. makeup on the back of the glow thing because I had like tagged them all in it to see what wow. would happen and then see. he ended up commenting Who won that again? Um, Ellis. Is that a, a guy or a girl? A guy. Was he the one with the blonde hair? Quite yeah, big? very very tall. Yeah. Did he, he do so a, Did he do an older lady once? And yes he did. Like a paint splash on yeah. my face. centre part and I'm going to put some cotton wool on just to give it some texture because oh. it looks a lot better than if you just paint it on. Jamming. Am I still keeping the eye shut? I would because I'm still putting latex on. It's just a Get in. pain in the bum. It looks so good but it smells so bad. 
be honest, I can't spend it now. You get used to it, yeah. you do. But it does make your eyes water. Probably. You, if you, if you want to grip it up. Your hair is stuck. I always manage to rip my baby hairs out whenever I put latex up on my hair. So, when you take it off, because uh, like when I take it off, yeah. Like how do I do? How would I? How do you do that? You're meant to use like an oil-based makeup remover or a makeup remover and like ease it off. I really bad. I just rip it off. <clears throat> it's painful, but it gets it off quicker. Oh, and I bet it gets all the, with all my uh, peach fuzz or yeah. everything. Yeah, get in. So I thought what would be funny after I'd be here is to go to my nana's and just knock on the door. Let's see what she says. Driving home with this on and people see you in the next part. Yeah. Crazy now, like not good at all, but it does come together. It's the same with hair when, like, when you do hair, like, everyone, like, it has to go through a stage, doesn't it? Too? Yeah, so it's all good. I am gonna peel it up here just so I can start it, get the effect. I know, you're alright. Oh, you can see it on my face. It looks so like 2D right now. It really bothers us when I'm like just starting to get into it. No, I know what you mean with the uh, to say. It. Sorry, I'm just no, you getting do a bit it. close to your eyes. You do whatever you have to do. I'll leave a little section around your eyes so I'm not getting like too close to it. Whatever looks best. If you need to get <laughs> close, get close, it's fine. <laughs> Will look good. Look more realistic. Yeah. Cool. Excited. Just look up. Oh. Open your eye. There we go. Sham you. Oh, oh, oh. That's all it is. Naughty. Right, I'm going to take a little stipple and brush. Sponge, not. What? A stipple and sponge. It's oh. just like a different. Shape, really texture. It's got much, much bigger holes in it. Champion. What does this do? It just adds more texture again because you're not just using a flat brush or a flat sponge. It's all about the texture. Mm -hmm. I might have had a look in the mirror. It's so <laughs> good already. What, just what are you using? The Blood sugar palette. Oh. Just because it's red. That's what I made. Is this the Morphe one? No, this is Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star. Oh. This one is. Nice. What about James Charles then? What do you think? I don't have his palette. Well, I was, I was never really in like the hype with that. So you don't. Do you, do you rate him as an uh, He is artist? good, he is, he is talented. It, is he talented? You can't take that away from him. Like, well, I disagree he, he, with people he, saying that he isn't. Yeah, he uses a lot of, like, other people's, like, things, doesn't he? Yeah. Way for it. My dogs from my dog sitter after I've had this done. <laughs> so what are they gonna say? They're gonna be absolutely <laughs> Are you keeping it on for that? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Is that alright? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Well it's fine by me, but do, you, do we do I need to give you anything back from this or does it uh, like the latex you can't use again or anything? Oh no, you can't use it again. You can keep it because it does last if you want a little souvenir. Oh definitely. But... 
Oh, no, I can't use it because it dries solid. Right. And especially once you put it, well, it's when you put it on the, the tissue, it dries solid. Oh, no, I'm keeping this on all night. <laughs> <laughs> the um, fake bloods that I use, they do stay, like, like, sticky. Cool. And they don't, you know when sometimes you put them on and they dry down, whereas these ones are the ones that stay wet, so. Cool. Have you tried different ones or did you find one that you liked quite early on and just it stuck with it? It took us a little while. <laughs> like I went originally when I wasn't really, I didn't plan on doing this. Yeah. It was just, you know, like the ones from the supermarket yeah. or the Halloween shops that just dry and then they dry like orange red and the stain and oh goodness no, me. Not good. And then I tried, well I did use that in one year. But then I found the um, Ben Lai, which one is it? The scalp blood, the thick blood. Yeah. And the Miron. Do you know what it's made of? Or is it just like a glue? Is it like just like it's a... It's like a syrup. Yeah, this Miron stage blood, syrup blood. Syrup blood. So where, is it, where was that? Is that in Newcastle? Um, No, that one was just past Beamish. It was called Psychopath. So what was it like a night or it was um i worked about 15 nights did you and it was doing the actors makeup so it was ba it's basically a horror walkthrough oh the tickets God. are on sale now <laughs> but um are you doing it again this year yeah did you enjoy it it was so fun it's one of the best experiences Stop putting the blood on. Oh. This is literally where it starts again. Good. We'll start with the thick blood. Champion. And these are literally like, you know, clay tools. The clay tools, yeah. But they're just, I need some spatulas. The Austin has a real ones, but they're basically the same as. Nice. Hey, oh my god. And this is just like thick as. It's so thick. Would you love to work on like horror films and stuff? It would be a dream, yeah. maybe. Like something like The Walking Dead. Oh my goodness me. Would that be cool? Because I think I'm going to get um, a face cast. So I'm going to go somewhere and have someone cast my face in like concrete. Yeah. Wow. So then I can start trying to like dabble in prosthetics. Amazing. I'm just gonna watch this because this is the one that runs everywhere. You don't like that shit, do you? No. <laughs> don't worry. I'm gonna let it drip a bit around the edges just so you get like you know the runny mm -hmm. run down your face sort of look. So if if someone's watching this and they're like, oh my god, I'd love to do something like that just for fun, like to do it. Yeah. Like what would you suggest for them to start like would you get the, the latex first or would you get the blood or would I have, you just... I, I got like staples first right and don't go to halloween shops and pay ridiculous prices for the latex or this on the next okay go on the likes of ebay and amazon where i get the bulk bottles because i've got to have a lot to like yeah, of course the bulk bottle of latex there's a shop called Red Carpet FX. Right. It's really good for your blood. Is that online? Yeah. Right. That's more expensive, but you, for the, I would pay it for blood. Because... Like can, better quality. Yeah. Like I said, I, I've worked with the cheap ones for years. Mm. But it's just not the same at all. Especially now that ketchup's just not... <laughs> no. Not good, is it? Doesn't cut the mustard. No, definitely not. <laughs> Just 
Yeah. There we go. Saw it? Yeah. Let's have a look. So now I've got to take this off. Ooh. So I don't even know how you do this. I don't even know how you, you like literally take it off. So you, like, I haven't got a mirror. Oh my God. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. My face is coming off. Ugh. Wow. E, I'm gonna leave it in the bin. So that my cleaner thinks I've had a face mask that's gone wrong. Yes, I've got a cleaner. Before anyone says anything. Right with it. Oh, oh yeah. Like, not gonna lie, I wonder if there's actual real blood in this. Oh, my eyes are watering. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, time of the month. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Right, I don't think I can cope. Right, if I lose an eyebrow, oh my god. Right, it's not even coming off. Oh, I found. Oh, oh. Oh, my eye. My eye stuck. Huh? Right, what am I going to do? Oh, I'll put some more there. Oh, my God. How do you know if you've got it all off? Oh. Uh, blood clot. Uh. like put your head up and it'd be off but it's not right now it's in me fucking fringe oh my god oh I've got a clotty fringe clotty fringe fuck oh we do oh my god I look like tomorrow what am I gonna do can't actually breathe Right, I managed to get all of that off. I still think I might have a little bit in my eye. And I do think that I've still got some in my fringe. I hope you enjoyed this week's video, guys. Please like and subscribe. Feel free to share. Get in touch with Rhiannon. And I'll see you next week. Peace. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, I've had a bit of a fall. Nice. Hey. <laughs> What's on earth? Oh yeah, I've had a bit of a fall. <laughs> you have had to go. It's good, isn't it?